Well, we're here at the Booth Bay Railway Village in front of the historic Booth Bay Town Hall. And in a few minutes, we're going to give a lecture on the history of the champion Scott Atwater, Scott, Scott McCullough, McCullough outboards, ending in Aero Marine and finally dying in 1970. It's a line of motors that started in 1932. It went through all kinds of evolutions and uh, transitions as it went from company to company. Uh, they were leaders in every case, whatever the trademark was, in technology for their day and accessibility for the operator to make them simple. They were also the first ones to ever really use professional designers to design the cowlings and the interface uh, for the operator. And the cowlings became an art form. Just like you have a watch with two hands in the old days and a circle, how much can you do with that? Well, the answer was unbelievably infinite things. And like that, the cowlings on these outboard motors were like automotive art. They were like streamlining and Art Deco and all of these schools uh, took the opportunity to make these things beautiful. And it was especially important in the transition from the 30s, which was a market of hunting people and fishing people, uh, to the late 40s and 50s, which is families. And once you had uh, women involved, they wanted the thing to look pretty. They didn't want stuff sticking out. They didn't want it to smell. They didn't want it to be noisy. They didn't want it to vibrate. And they wanted uh, more horsepower to be able to do family things like skiing. So in the early 50s, there was a horsepower war that went on between all the manufacturers uh, to go from an average of about 30 horse to 100 horse in just a little over a decade. And that made boating a family sport in the U.S. Uh, for many of us growing up and happy times. So that's sort of a preview of what we're going to talk about. We have six lectures over the course of the summer. Uh, five more on various topics and we'll provide you a handout of when those are and what the topics are. But uh, I can assure you if you come, even if you're not interested in motors or things like that, this is about the people. I talk an awful lot about the people. It's probably 80% people and 20% motors. Uh, we do have a multimedia slideshow and pictures of old catalogs and we have motors on hand here at the museum. Uh, so we hope you'll come out and visit.